Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, welcome back to the Emerald Deep Zoological Park and Planet Zoo. My name's Jack. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. Either way, thanks a lot for watching my content. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me very much. Now, for those of you who watched the last episode and saw me build this habitat for the Bonobos, I want to show you something. This habitat no longer contains Bonobos. Whoa, what's he doing? Let's get him out of that box. There we go. These are Western Lowland Gorillas. You may notice. Totally different animal from the Bonobo. Um, what I did uh, while while planning out the next um, the the next animal, which was going to be the Western chimpanzee, close cousin to the Bonobo, I realized that no, what I want to do is I want to do something big and special just for the chimpanzees, and I want to do it t so that they're together, not together in the same habitat. That's a bad thing, but you know, together in one facility, if you will. So I pulled the Bonobos out of this habitat and I replace them with uh, uh, lowland gorillas. Okay, we just had a death. Call the vet. That was a male ring-tailed lemur. I'm swiftly running out of ring-tailed lemurs. I don't know if there's any available. Hold on a second, and we will find out. Uh, there are. Okay, first I'm gonna grab her because she's a female and I need a female. I had a female die uh, also in between episodes so and then we will get uh, the male and we'll replace the two of them come on tick tock tick tock tick tock the delay by the way um, that particular delay is caused by the connection to the uh, the market server. So anyway, back to <clears throat> excuse me, ah, rough voice. Uh, back to the chimpanzees. I wanted to do basically one um, centralized facility for the for the chimpanzees, and that's why I moved the gorillas into the spot that I had the Bonobos. Anyway, this is going to be a very large build. It's going to be a big build. <clears throat> I may have to break this up into two different um, two different episodes. And if that's the case, then okay, I'll do that. But I just wanted to warn you ahead of time. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start this build. I'm going to turn it over to the um, to the time lapse. And I will talk to you when this is all over, or if I end up dividing it in, in, into two, um, I'll talk to you to let you know that's going to happen. <clears throat> Gee whiz, I wish my voice would clear up. So anyway, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit.
Well, just as I predicted, uh, this is going to turn out to be a multi-part episode. I'm thinking two parts at this point. Uh, you have reached the end of the first part, but if you notice, I'm still building. So, uh, uh, yeah, the next episode will just begin in speed mode and will continue until I'm finished with it. Uh, we got about halfway through. Um, you know, I got the main building pretty much done. And I got uh, the Bonobo habitat finished. The Western Chimpanzee habitat uh, has yet to begin. So I hope you join me for that. Um, you know, it'll be in the next video. If you like what you saw here, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my gameplay videos. And tell me what you thought in the comments below. I always look forward to hearing from you guys, even if it's just to tell me that I really should have done something different. Anyway, folks, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.